Hello, I'm 0003, from the Earth 200 years later, please subscribe to me. A global motor show was recently held in Shanghai, where the biggest highlights included Huawei's driverless, the new energy brand ARCFOX, together with Huawei, launched the first Huawei inside intelligent pure electric car in Shanghai the Alpha S. The whole series uses Huawei fast charging technology. It charges in 10 minutes and can increase its range by 197 kilometers. The smart cockpit is equipped with the Hongmeng OS operating system. The model has a starting price of 251900 RMB and a top price of 344900 RMB. The Huawei H1 version starts at RMB 388900 and the top version is priced at RMB 429900. The Alpha S is positioned as an all-electric midsize sedan. The new car is divided into regular and Huawei high versions. It uses an intelligent thermostatic ternary lithium-ion battery pack with a battery capacity of 93 kWh. There are three versions of NEDC range, 525 km, 603 km and 708 km respectively. The Alpha S takes 1.5 hours for a full AC slow charge and 7 hours for a full 20 kW AC slow charge. Huawei's fast charging technology supports DC fast charging for 10 minutes, which can add 197 km to the range, and 15 minutes to charge half of the entire car. The car also supports wireless charging, with official claims that charging efficiency can exceed 92%. One of the highlights of the car is the in-depth cooperation with Huawei in terms of intelligence. That is, the ARCFOX Alpha S Huawei High Edition model. The intelligent cabin of the Alpha S Huawei High Edition runs the Hongmeng OS operating system, which enables the operation of the smartphone in association with the intelligent cabin. The 20-inch 4K screen extends from the driver's seat to the passenger's seat, and supports multi-gesture operation and screen switching. In terms of voice interaction, Huawei offers voice recognition in both the car and cloud for the Alpha S Huawei High Edition. Even in the event of a network disconnection, the vehicle can be controlled by voice recognition on the vehicle side. The biggest highlight of the Alpha S Huawei High Edition is that it is equipped with Huawei's ADS. ADS is Advanced Autonomous Driving Solution, a full-stack solution. It is also the first intelligent electric vehicle to be equipped with Huawei's Litter Solution. It has technically reached a level where the vehicle can judge the road conditions and drive itself throughout. In addition to 34 sensors, the Alpha S Huawei High version will carry three 96-line vehicle-grade lighters, 6mm wave radars, 12 cameras and 13 ultrasonic radars. It also comes with a Huawei chip with an arithmetic power of up to 352 tops. Both Xiaopeng and Azera are reported to have 33 sensor solutions in their latest announcements, with Huawei becoming number one with its release. Compared to millimeter wave radar and cameras, Litter has excellent capabilities in target contour measurement, angle measurement, light stability and general obstacle detection, and in difficult scenarios, such as non-regulated pedestrians in urban areas and non-regulated roads, or even non-regulated driving, Litter is urgently needed to solve the problem. Alpha S Huawei High version is equipped with a long-range HD camera and litter. It is able to match the high-precision map to accurately extract lane and traffic light information. Through constant machine self-learning and continuous iteration, it performs closer to manual driving at intersections, including straight ahead, left turn and unprotected turn. Today, the high version of the BAIC New Energy ARCFOX Alpha S, equipped with Huawei's autonomous driving technology, was given a public test ride in Shanghai which was the first public test ride of Huawei's autonomous driving technology in the world. Many industry insiders have high praise for Huawei's ads, believing that its technology level can even surpass Tesla's autopilot FSD. Many live videos have spread through the internet, sparking heated debate among netizens. Huawei introduced, in the city commuting scene, the car to achieve a full scene covering urban areas, highways, car park point-to-point -point access, for example, it can intelligently identify traffic lights and stop or drive. When the vehicle is at an intersection without a waiting area, it is able to interact and play with the opposite direction straight ahead and left turning traffic to finally complete the left turn. Whether it's straight ahead, left turn, avoidance, on and off ramps or unprotected turning, the Alpha S Huawei High version can handle it all with ease, and based on the machine self-learning technology, add to self-learning and self-evolving every moment, the smarter it drives, becoming the exclusive good driver for consumers. Since this year, Huawei has been building a succession of car rumors, but they have all been denied. Despite not being down to build a car itself, Huawei is getting in on the car-making frenzy in another form. 
Huawei will increase its investment in autonomous driving to promote the intelligence and networking of the automotive industry, bringing long-term strategic opportunities for Huawei. Chu Jijun said, outright that the most disruptive industry of the future will be in the automotive industry. At the Shanghai Auto Show, Xu said, I was told by our team that they are the best at what they do, but of course I expect them to be the best, so I don't know if they are bragging. They said they could do 1,000 kilometers of autonomous driving in urban areas without intervention. That's much better than Tesla. Huawei Intelligent Vehicle Solutions BU, president of the ad's autonomous driving product line, Sue Turner, once said this, If Huawei can't do Tesla in terms of computers, I think we can close the door and not do it anymore. Why is Huawei not building cars? On April 12, at Huawei's 18th Global Analyst Conference, Huawei again responded to the topic of whether to build a car. He said, Huawei will increase its investment in autonomous driving to promote the intelligence and networking of the automotive industry, bringing long-term strategic opportunities for Huawei. Xu Jijun told reporters including the 21st Century Business Herald that Huawei is also investing in automotive components, especially autonomous driving software to promote the intelligence and network connectivity of cars and help car companies build good cars. Recently Yu Chengdong is also actively working with car manufacturers to see how to help them sell cars. Meanwhile, Xu Jijun again responded to the topic of whether Huawei builds cars. Xu Jijun said that Huawei is currently working mainly with three car company partners to create three new car sub-brands. The three car companies are BAIC, Chongqing Chengen and Guangzhou Automobile and cars based on Huawei's ICT capabilities will be launched one after another in the fourth quarter of this year. Xu also re-emphasized Huawei's role as an automotive supplier and that Huawei does not build cars. He explained, Huawei made this decision after years of discussion, after the establishment of the telematics lab under the 2012 lab, when there was no concept of smart cars, there was only the concept of electric cars, and as the research deepened, it went from electric cars to self-driving cars. From 2012 to now, the automotive industry has undergone tremendous changes, especially after the rise of artificially intelligent vehicles, which has brought great changes. Originally we did the three electric system and then found out we had to do the driver. Over the past few years, he has had in-depth conversations with the chairman of almost all car manufacturers and learned that the automotive industry needs ICT technology more than Huawei branded cars. That's why in 2018 we determined that we would not build cars and would only empower the automotive industry, a decision that will not change even now. Although we don't build cars, Huawei also wants to create some good business models with car companies. We will choose to partner for in-depth cooperation and empower car companies through the Huawei Inside approach to really make our cars future-proof. He also revealed that the smart car BU has complete capabilities, sales, delivery and other systems. This year, the investment in research and development of smart car components is more than $1 billion, and if we have $10,000 in revenue per car per year, that's enough for us. Now each of our components have been gradually introduced to the market. More and more cars are using Huawei inside the car. The next Shanghai Auto Show, intensive presentation, can be self-driving experience. Next, let's enjoy the live streaming of Huawei's. It's
。好的，现在大概还有半个小时，这个今天的这个车展就要结束了。那大家还想去哪里呃看一下吗？我们现在是在上海车展的七点一馆，太空舱。我们进不到车里面，大家看到了吗？这里是有玻璃的。中文名就是阿尔法。对，除了呃，极狐还会有其他的厂商跟华为合作。它有可能是那个是那个是那个电子零部件件儿，然后这个是算那个倒车透视。其实这个车做的，最起码你现在能看静态的话，只能坐在外面和里面的坐的还行，你感觉那就是。好，我们转过去看一下。好，大家可以看到它这个轮毂还有卡钳。嗯，这是极狐。嗯嗯对，这个是搭载了一个自动驾驶系统的。因为它是。这个车呢，一共出了两个版本，一个基础版，一个高阶版，售价呢在三十八点八九万到四十二点九九万。是公家，是公家。那个方块就是呃华为的 HI 的标志。那么车身上有 HI 标志的这个车呢，就是搭载了华为呃智能解决方案的车型。好，大家可以看到。那这辆车就有这个 H I 的标识。二零二一上海车展，现在的位置是在极狐汽车的展位。极狐 R Y S 呢也上市了，共一共推出了四个版本，售价呢分别在二十五点一九万到三十四点四九万。同时呢，呃，极狐 R Y S 大家可以看到这个 H I 版本，同时呢，华为 E C I 就是 H I 的意思。全球首款携带三个激光雷达的智能车型。就是我收购的这个，极狐 R5S， 华为 E3， 这款车呢，一共出了两个版本，一个是基础版，一个是高阶版，售价，售价呢分别为三十八点八九万到四十二万。
Alpha <音>我身后的这款车呢是基于吉他斯华为共同打造的首款全球我身后的这款车呢是基于吉他斯华为共同打造的全球首款同时携带三个激光雷达电动车厢阿尔法吉胡阿尔法吉胡阿尔法 大家稍等一下，默默。好的，我们今天下午已经被，呃，我们今天下午被断流了，这个有四次了啊，所以我呃不可以说车的价格以及参数，呃，而且我们这里也不卖车，我们就是带大家转一下。好，现在是在对面的
。小易，小易。我在。电影。我们现在在进行小一的点播。就是你要建这个字。我建你要把这个字往哪些选？你到电影里面来好多。电影。电影，小易小易，我在。电影，可以，等搜到里边了。然后呢？什么？免费电影。你能不能整个不免费的？<笑>不免费的，没欧美大片儿。没有钱。没有钱，没有钱。<笑>欧美大片。啊<笑>，免费电影吧。这是这是这不是真车啊，这是一个智能座舱的一个体验装置。好，我们来看一下外观。这里是华为智能座舱的体验室，那我们现在看到的呢是一个呃智能座舱。小易都整懵了，对呀、啊。我们进去坐一下，好的，等等一会儿我们就进去坐一下啊。看看里面有什么。看看这个椅子是为了这个座舱定制的。这个难度在哪？这个东西不是咱们自己的吗？对，这东西难度是这个。啊，你你知道你知道你知道啥难度吗？啊，加工精度，哎，加工精度。啊，我知道，啊，我知道，啊，我知道。啊，那这它带壳这个东西，啊，啊这个这个。对，华为不造车，我们帮助企业造好车。这是集团，好的，好，我现在终于可以来做一下这个，呃，驾驶位了。好，大家现在看到的是我们的智能座舱的内景，呃，可以来一位专家给我们介绍一下吗？专家都跑了，小易。好的，我们现在是在这个智能座舱的，呃，体验舱里面啊，这个不是一个真车，这个是，呃，华为智能座舱技术的一个展示。好，大家看到这上面装配了一块屏幕，啊，您能给我们介绍一下这块屏幕吗？这块屏幕就是车机的比较窄边框，最窄边框的一个屏幕。那它现在是已经呃，就是搭载在车型上了。那已经呃，现在还没有搭载在车型上。哦，现在还没有。嗯、啊，呃，就是前前面不是可以有一个那个抬头显示的吗？现在没有开是吧？啊、哦，对对对，嗯，因为我们快关闭了，所以没有开。哦，对。因为我们的车展呢，可能呃，就大家看到这个这个有一个闪闪耀的这个信号灯了嘛，这个就是那个 A R H U D 的一个指征。那么，如果当我们开启这个，这个女伴能给我们介绍一下吗？对，现在能给我们介绍一下吗？啊、小易，小易，播放电影。抱歉。我还没学会。小易，小易，播放视频。你你照过了？我就这么站着看。你家你家那其实它前面有个 H U D。嗯。播放米糊视频。对。这哎哎，这哥们能帮我们介绍一下吗？对。小易，小易，播放视频。就是他有点不礼貌，我这个就插队过来
小易，小易，打开咪咕视频。大家看到了吗？它打开了。播放免费电影。免费电影。应该是可点可说，就是界面上面能看到的，你都能说。但是，就是我们现在是，就是说，比如打开卫视，我们这边是就是。如果打开，如果打开，很抱歉，指令执行失败。用门字性的都可以说。嗯，比如说卫视或者说电视剧。呃，欧美大片。重新呼唤一下。小易，小易。我在。免费电影。天长地呃地久天长。抱歉，我还没学会。地久天长。这个这个系统是，哎，真的可以，返回，就是普通话比较好的话会有优势。古装片，小易小易，我在。经典港片，经典港片，小易小易，经典港，经典港片。我还在学，试试别的吧。热播大片，热播大片。欧美大片。古装。电视剧。哪个哪个电视剧啊？抬头写。对我们不是，呃，我们不是这个工程师啊，所以说我们所有的讲解都要找我们的专家来进行。那么现在可能是因为，呃，马上要下班了，那现场我们没有找到，没有找到工程师。好的，那我们今天呢？好，大家看了吗？那边展台的工作人员也要下班了。好，那我们今天的带大家看展台呢，呃，差不多就快要结束了啊。这是极狐阿尔法 S。哦，现在在维护了。好，呃，那不好意思啊，我们这个马上要下班了。明天再呃带大家来看这个，我们将要在这个华为的渠道销售的两款车。那么一个是这个赛利斯
。好的，工作人员已经在呃清理现场了。这就是透明车。那么这个透明车呢，主要是呃，体现的是华为在智能车领域呢这个整体的架构，包含了昨天发布的呃五大系统。好，我们现在因为没有，呃，工程师可能快要下班了啊。呃、现在，现在我们我们我们我们请这位给我们讲一讲。<笑>对，正在直播。好，大家可以看到，工程师已经在收拾了。那我们今天的。这个看展呢，差不多就要结束了。是的，华为手机在直播。然后，然后我。很多已经在收拾了。大概在六月吧。好，那我们现在华为的展台我们已经看完了，鱼湖的也已经看完了。呃，大家还有什么想看的吗？好，我们现在路过的是宝马的展台。宝马的展台很大。那么这边是恒大汽车。对，宝马对面是极狐。目前我们跟三家车企呃有合作，那么跟长安合作的车呢，呃近期也将推出。好，大家现在看到是恒大汽车
这是横池的展台。红石汽车展台非常大，呃，有真车。好，那我们现在是走到了未来的外面，大家要看一下未来吗？好，有朋友说慢一点。未来的车型真的很多，一 C 六。这位朋友说未来的二楼啊，未来的二楼真的是很漂亮，装修的很好。坦克，坦克在哪里？好，工作人员都已经在呃收拾，准备下班了。他们都拿着清洁刷，小狗皮皮，好，这位朋友。好，那我们来看一下小鹏吧。是的，今天在场馆走了一天，确实是很累啊，不知道大家累不累啊？这是一辆什么车？小鹏。大家看到了吗？小鹏的一个概念车的装置，很酷啊！好，那我们啊进不去啊，这个拦住了。这是一个非常大的车模，是不是很酷？大家看一下这是一辆小鹏 P7。大家看到了吗？对，已经要下班了。
辆果绿色的小鹏 P7。好，大家问华为啊，华为的展台我们刚才已经呃都看过了，我们就到别的展台转一转。那这也是一辆小鹏 P7。小鹏 G 三，铁熊一号。大家可以看到这个颜色非常漂亮啊！这是一个小鹏 P 五。好，等一下，等华为展台人少一点，我们再回去看一下。对，华为不造车，华为帮企业呃造好车。好，大家看到这个了吗？就是，西，呃，叫 Zipper。小鹏直升机。好，那未来的角落里还有两辆很酷的车，我们去看一下，然后就回到华为的展台。极客零零幺，极狐有展台。好，那这里是上海车展的七点一号馆。我们现在是在未来的展台，这是一辆赛车。您能给我们介绍一下吗？这个是一个什么样的概念？呃、嗯，消费国情专业的。好的。好，这是一个概念车啊，这是未来的一个概念车。未来的概念车。好，华为的展台我们今天上午、下午都看过了啊，我们现在看一看别的展台。这是一辆呃概念车。
向导，你们所求的，有哪？那么老师，他们一下是菩萨干扰，老师在干涉。好的，那这个未来也要下班了啊，那我们回回到那边。嗯、好，那我们再回去看一下华为。从从未来走到华为大概要走五分钟，那么我们也会路过极极湖的展台。嗯、对，华为这次也展出了汽车。好，那我们现在路过的是宝马的展台。那么右边呢是奔驰的展台。继续往前走呢是极狐展台。华为展台就在前面了大家现在看到的是极狐展台。好了，还有这么多的网友在线啊。好，那我们再看一下华为的展台，我们就结束今天的直播了。这里是 mini， 那这里是华为。现在人少了很多。那右边呢是一个华为的智能座舱，呃，体验室
这里呢是给大家演示了一个充电器，包括像呃慢充和普通快充以及 AI 闪充。你们这你们太过分了。好，这就是大家下午看过的透明车。听到了吗？闭馆的声音，大家听到了吗？
好的，下班了。大家现在看到是华为展的牌，那我们明天再继续直播。我们现在已经往外走了。好了，完了。阿姨，你坐。这这好的也也会照一张纸啊，每小时经常带个队，那个是吧？好，这里是上海车展现场。好，那我们的小黄车功能呢，可能会在近期上线。好，大家听到了吗？这个，呃，闭馆的声音对，现在是回家的音乐，关门的音乐。这里是上海车展的展馆七号馆。刚才有朋友问这个赛利斯啊，那这个赛利斯呢，跟华为合作了一款这个华为智选 SF 5那么它是一款这个呃电驱的轿跑 SUV。
，现在在线的网友，我们可以明天再来啊。我们今天的直播，呃，马上就结束了。我们现在是到了上海车展的散场的时间。那么今天是媒体日的第一天，那明天呢是呃媒体日的第二天。下班了，下班了。好，那我们现在是在上海车展的，呃，七点一号馆啊。那华为展台呢，就在大家看到的那个八号馆的。那明天呃华为呢会继续呃参展，明天继续给大家直播。那明天晚上的我们我们在呃华为的上海军事旗舰店还有一场这个呃余生东会呃出席的一场直播。呃，明天的傍晚五点半。是的，下班了，大家下班吧。呃，明天下午五点半。好的，我明天继续带大家看这个华为展区啊。今天的车展已经结束了。